What's up everyone, welcome back to Philosophy D. In this episode, we're gonna go bottom fishing for rockfish and lingcod. And today I have a special guest with me, someone who's never fished for rockfish or lingcod before. I'm with Justin from Fish and Dive Hawaii. That's it. <laughs> and this is gonna be his first time rock fishing here in California. So I'm trying to get him on some rockfish and maybe even a lingcod. Let's go. Starting off with a big piece of squid on a sh big shrimp fly and then a smaller piece of squid on the smaller shrimp fly. I'm trying to get on some rockfish first and then I'm going to drop for some lingcod after that. Nice, dude. Yes. It was like, it was like messing with it. Huh? It was messing with it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I got a bite too. Oh, there's some fish down there right now. Go Justin on his first yeah. rockfish, baby. So I'm also getting bites too, dude. So I think here. we just passed by a bunch of fish. How's it feel? Feels all right. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice brown, dude. I think we just passed by a school of browns or something. There we go, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, dude. First rockfish awesome. ever. Yeah. Tight. So I'm going to send my bait all the way down to the bottom, probably about 100 feet or so, and then I'm going to reel up a few cranks and set my pole down so I don't drag and snag on the bottom. And then I'm going to set up my jumbo squid to catch that link cod. So you guys remember how last time we got that big bite link cod on a, a regurgitated octopus? I got one. I got one. Nice one. Oh, yeah. I bought a whole jumbo squid right here. He's gonna catch me my link cod. I'm gonna throw it on the live bait rig right now. And if something bites it, it's gonna be a link cod. when I was setting up my live bait rig. It's probably a probably a blue, I'm assuming. Small one. Not, not too much of a fighter. But it's cool. First rockfish of the day right here. Oh it's fighting now. It's fighting now when he's getting on top. I hope it's not a small link cod. No, it's a blue. Small blue. Damn, and something took my other bait too. All right, first rockfish of the day right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and send this jumbo squid all the way down to the bottom. Oh, oh shit. Oh, something's on it. So I think so. Oh, 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 something's. I don't know. That was a steady pull. I don't know. It was a very slow and steady pull. I think I have a fish on my live bait rig right now. I'm gonna set the hook. Did I get it? Oh no, it let go. It definitely something was on it though. Oh, there it is. I got it now. I got it now. It came back for it. No. Did it come back for it? Shit, I can't tell. Yeah, it's on there. Oh, it's on there. It's trying to make a run now. Oh uh, yeah, grab the net just in case. Wow, I must have been swimming up with it. This is on the jumbo squid, guys. This is definitely a link cod. It doesn't feel too heavy. Definitely a fish on there though. It's probably swimming up with it right now. There it is. There it is on the jumbo. Oh. On the jumbo squid. It's a decent link cod. 
There we go. All righty, first link out of the day. Tore this up. Oh, there it is. That's a nice one. That's a better rock fish than that. Oh, oh no, don't take my fish. <laughs> no, I bet. Oh, yeah, that's a decent rock fish or something. I mean, better than that first, first one and that second one. Definitely something better. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it looks like a link cod. Oh, don't tell me it's a small link cod. No. I love the color on these guys. Later, guy. So I threw on this Kitek swim bait, 3.88 inches. It's a black cherry color. Kind of matches the the color of this uh, shrimp fly here. Let's see how this does. Bait on top of that. Let's see what they prefer. Oh, got a rock fish on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like brown. Oh no, another. Oh, is this a firm? Yeah. And, oh, it, oh, bit on the yeah, bit on the Kitek. Oh, and and something stole my bait too. But bit on the Kitek though. Barely hooked. Bit on the Kitek here. Swim bait. Looks like Justin's on another rockfish here. <laughs> Hey! Out of nowhere. <laughs> Out of nowhere. That's how it is. No bites for a while and then they just... It's fun. Yeah, good sized fish. I guess they're all biting now. Oh man, I was trying to help. How about Justin with this fish right here? And then I uh, got a bite see what this guy is a rockfish I think is another vermilion I think a uh, copper it's a little copper dude uh oh on the Kitek again dude this Kitek's killing it so since I've been getting bites on this Kitek swim bait here I'm actually gonna switch out this this bait Put on another Kitek on there. These two pretty little things. Oh, or I got a nice, I got a nice rockfish. Oh, it just came off. Oh, that was a nice fish. I think that was a link hide. Let me check. Man, that was a nice fish. You saw the weight on the... Yeah, but I thought you were too. I wonder which one it bit on. Part of his gill plate looks like it's attached to the swim bait. Don't know if you guys can see this right here. It's definitely teeth right there. There's a, there's a nice fish on this one. On that swim bait again. Oh, there's a nice fish. Uh, I don't know, it might be a link cod. Came after his swim bait though, so. Or it's a decent rockfish. So it might be a good, good sized rockfish. I'm, I'm hoping so. Feels kind of heavy. No color yet, no color yet yeah. I know that drift, the current is super strong today. This guy all the way in. Oh, that's. Is it? I don't know. It's fighting like a link cod now. Unless that's a massive rockfish. That's a good rockfish. Oh, oh no, it's dude. a ling. It is. Huh? It's a ling. Let it here. Here, yeah. Net this guy. 
on the Kitek again. I think that's a keeper. Yeah. Should be a keeper. Do you want him? Sure. All right. Yeah, I could gift uh, gift one to you. Sure. Yeah. Only one per person. You can just take it's, one a, one it's a limit. Person. Yeah. Yeah. One per person. Another Lingcod on the Kitek. There's another one. Another brown guy. But yeah, man. That black. That black cherry is doing work. And black cherry Kitek swim bait. Work. Caught four fish so far on that guy. Uh, yeah, decent size, but smaller than that link cod I just caught, but, you know, still, still decent. Kind of heavy, though. Let's see. It is kind of fighting like a rockfish. Feel way better today, not seasick. Yeah. Catching some fish. Let's see, let's see what this guy is. Oh, oh what the? What the? Oh, I got a double. No wonder. Double? Double, though. That's a decent berm. Nice, bro. Double. A little olive. And then a berm. Decent vermilion. On top, both Kitex swim baits right here, dude. Nice little vermilion. Oh, man. Kind of small olive. Damn. See ya. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Strong current, dude, but I think it's working with the swim bait. Well, if ever you guys have a super strong current, a super strong bottom current, I would yeah, toss on some swim baits onto your onto your line. I'm using a shrimp fly and Justin was using some bait. It's really even hard to feel bottom for me sometimes. So I constantly have to let down, make sure I'm contacting the bottom and then and then that current's actually gonna oh there goes another fish baby baby so the bite just turned on right now and this is another decent fish i literally i mean that berm is right there i'm i just dropped down oh yeah this is a, a decent one feels like a rockfish too but yeah i think the current is really helping with this i'm using a six ounce so it gets down right on the bottom but when that current blows I think it's fluttering that swim bait up just a little bit up to where these rockfish are hang, hanging out. And if they're right in the bottom and they spot that, I think they're just going to smack it. Oh, let's see what this is. Another nice rockfish. All right, a nice brown. Again, on the, on the red cherry. There's, I got one for, for this guy on top and the red cherry hit, everything else hit the red cherry. And that was like literally hit hit the ground. I felt the ground and it uh and this guy bit within seconds. Using the same exact rig? Yep. Yes sir. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, you need swim baits, right? Like <laughs> like I'm saying, dude. I hope, I like my second drop with him. Yeah, yeah. I hope uh you know I can put Justin on some link cod. I don't know, how's that feel? Feels like a decent rockfish? Yeah, decent. Cool. Oh, there it is. Oh. That, yep, that's a, that's another, oh, that's a copper. Nice, dude, that's a decent copper. Ah, again, the black cherry, dude, they just loving that today. Black cherry. All of them are fighting those ones pretty much. Yeah, right? yeah. Small link cod. Tiny link cod on the last cast. One day. Let this guy go. Hey, me and Justin just got back. Justin's first time out here rock fishing, first time on the skiff. Took him out and say we did pretty well. Okay, so today we have our link cod, fresh link cod that we caught. And this weekend is Mother's Day weekend. Today I'm at a nursing home 
and we're actually going to cook up this fish for some of the staff here as kind of part of appreciation for uh, Mother's Day and also the staff for the nursing home. Got the head removed, and so we're just going to steam this guy whole right here. Just got to rinse it off. Actually, I'm going to cut off the fins and then just steam it up. All right, what I typically find in these link hod is that I will always find these isopods within their gills. I cut off all the gills, but you can see this right here. This is one of those parasitic isopods, and I always find them. We're saving the head for soup, so I'm definitely taking this guy out, but it's like stuck on there and it won't let go. And I don't, oh, it's still alive. I found this parasitic ice pod. Look, it's still alive in the lingcod head. Crazy, look at that, it's still moving. Now we're just gonna stuff the cavity of the fish with some ginger, some sliced ginger, as well as some scallion, and then we're gonna sprinkle some black pepper inside of it. And then after that, when we're done, we're gonna steam this entire fish whole. And then we have some soy sauce that we're actually gonna also drizzle all over the fish. go. All right, this looks amazing right now. I've never seen an entire lingcod hole before, but this looks really, really good. I'm at a nursing home and so we're feeding a lot of the staff here as part of sort of a staff appreciation, but also it's Mother's Day weekend and there's a lot of women here, a lot of mothers, so we're sort of sharing my catch or our catch with them. And so I'm gonna try this first and see if it's good first before I give it to people. So let's see, just grab a little bit of the tail, flakes right off, that's how you know it's ready. Dip it in that soy sauce mix. Delicious, oh my God. This will steam for about 12 minutes and I would say it's perfect. How you know is a fish still flakes off like this, but it's super tender, super soft. The texture is super soft. When you fry fish, especially cod, the flakes come off, you know, the big flakes come off, right? And it's, and it's sort of a little chewier, but this is way different when you steam it. I, I highly encourage people to try steaming fish whole. Amazing taste of that scallion, you have the soy sauce flavor, a little bit salty, and then a hint of ginger in it. But man, amazing. Catch you guys next time, man, with more fresh food, fresh seafood. Later, guys. Peace.